let's learn how to do jump backs. But first, a word on safety. Make sure that you've got a solid understanding of all the sun salutation poses before attempting the jump backs. They are a fun way to build heat, but if poses are rushed through or off on alignment, you could get injured. Here's an important tip on what not to do. Never, ever, ever jump back into plank, even if the instructor says jump into plank. One of the reasons is that if you jump back into straight arms and straight legs, the force of landing often goes straight into the lower back, like so. Yeesh. In case you missed it, here's the shot the second I landed in plank and what plank should actually be. Notice how even when I tried to stabilize my core to protect my lower back, I still dipped in the center. If you think about the hundreds of sun salutations we do in a month, or the thousands that we do in a year, that's going to take a huge toll on your body. Multiply that by the initial jarring nature of when you land your toes, and it's a recipe for back injury. Here's what we should be doing in jump backs. Like before, we're matching our breath with our movements. From halfway lift, we plant the palms and start bending the elbows right away to bring the upper body directly to Chaturanga arms. Here's a replay. Notice that while I'm still landing harder than I'd like to, in this configuration, my back doesn't cave in the center because my elbows are absorbing the shock. I personally guide people to step back into plank and move through because that's how I normally practice. Having been injured through doing yoga, I value safety above all else. If you'd like to try jump backs but aren't confident in your chaturanga, come back next week and I'll be posting a safer jump back option. In the meantime, practice, practice, practice. Start with my how-to on chaturanga, then stock my channel, subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.